Well, hello. My name is Bobo. As you can see, I am a boy merman. I mean, a merboy. You must be wondering what I'm playing with here. Well, it's a long story. To make it short, Bobo go kick out my father. <laughs> And Bobo needs to win his heart back. <sighs> I don't know why. I just wanted to make him happy. Well, it all happened a month ago when my brothers and sisters and I started to prepare for Father's 267th birthday. Every year, we all compete to give the best present to him. And you know what? The one giving him the worst present will be punished by him. Father is very strict, very cool, and sometimes unpredictable, like the weather. You know, he's the great man king, Hulu Hulu. Hulu. <coughs> I rule the ocean. I govern the sea. I am the law. <laughs> so, you know, we can only try to please him, but we cannot exactly know what he thinks about us. <gasps> Last year, Bobo won the birthday contest by singing him a song that Bobo wrote. Actually, I just sang his name rather randomly. Like hulu 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 and he was so impressed that he gave Bubble ten pairs. Oops. But my poor sister Choo Choo wasn't as lucky. She wrote a poem for him that failed to rhyme, and immediately he stopped her for a night. My goodness. Anyway. This year, we agreed not to do any performances, but each of us will make a craftwork as a gift. Some of my siblings have made things like a crown made by sharp bones, a throne carved out of volcano ashes, a spear made with materials from those floating things that humans sit on. I don't know what they call that, but that brother of mine broke one floating thing and used those pieces to make that spear. Father loved to see human things get destroyed. So I guess he would love that spear. And I really had to beat that present. Although I knew it would be difficult to beat that. <gasps> I asked the my friends for opinions. My best octopus friend, Ya Ya Ya, suggested that I learn a dance from him and he showed me his new moves like this. Well, come on, he has eight arms, so it looks more spectacular when he moves. And see how many arms do I have? Huh? Moreover, we have said that we were not doing a performance this year. But, well, octopuses don't have ears, so they couldn't hear things very well. So, I guess I can't really blame my friend for this, can I? Anyway, so, I thought and thought and thought. I thought during the day, I thought during the night, I thought while I was sleeping, I thought while I was toileting, and suddenly my hermit crab friend Lala Baba came to visit me in his new home, and that was a very weird shell, it was something like this. I still don't know what it is, but I found it very interesting, so I asked him where he found it. Lala Baba said that he had a hard time finding a shell on the beach, but there were plenty of these weird things like this thing. And he said they were left by humans. So I had this wonderful idea to call out these 
cool things on the beach and make father the most special necklace he's ever worn. I'm so clever and cute, right? And that morning, I went to the beach. And you know what? I saw all these amazing gifts from humans all over the sand. See? I still don't know what these are. But they must be cool things, like our pearls. They're so colorful and interesting and funny looking. You see? I look cool with it, don't I? So, I found this birthday party. I gave this precious bobo mink necklace to him. Father had a smile before, but as soon as he saw it, he went like, made him angry. So I started to think all over again and this morning I finally figured it out. I'm so clever and cute, right? My father is the great Roman king, Hulu Hulu, isn't he? Of course he would think that this necklace was not precious enough. So I made him a bigger one with more precious things I found on the beach. See? This one I used more human gems to make. I'm glad that the humans always leave so many souvenirs for us. I think they are very generous and kind-hearted creatures. They always share these beautiful things with us. I don't know why father dislikes them so much. You see? Thanks to the humans, I can make a more glorious necklace to impress father. This is so fantastic, isn't it? Now, Bobo has returned to the palace and will bring this super necklace to father. Father will surely be shocked by this, don't you think so? Bobo has to go now. Thank you for being such a nice audience.